Who couldn't like your subscription? Please subscribe to this channel and find simple solutions for the most important problem which you have been looking for. So here is the problem on the screen from Fourier transforms. So we have to find the function f of x. If it's the Fourier sine transforms is given as e power minus ax. So here the inverse Fourier transform. Fourier sine transform is given as f of x is equal to this is 2 by pi times of integral 0 to infinity Fourier sine transforms of the function into sine px into dx into dx. So here what is our Fourier sine transform? So the Fourier sine transform is, is e power minus ax. The function value is e power minus ax. Therefore, fs of p is given as e power minus ax. So now if I substitute, then this will be f of x value will be, this is 2 pi pi times of integral 0 to infinity. If I substitute, this will be e power minus ap into sine px into dx. So this is of the form integral 0 to infinity e power minus ap sine px into dx. So here is the formula that, so we have a formula that e power ax into sine bx into dx value is equal to e power ax by, this is a square plus b square. This is a sine bx minus, this is b cos bx. So here if I compare in place of a I have minus a and in place of b I have p. So now using this formula so f of x value will be this is 2 by pi times of so this is c e power minus a p by minus a whole square plus what is b p square into in place of a I have minus this is a sine px minus in place of b we have p. This is cos px between the limits 0 to infinity. Between the limits this is 0 to infinity. Now we have to substitute the upper limit minus lower limit. f of x is equal to this is 2 by pi times of this is e power infinity into this something minus this is e power 0. So the lower limit is e power 0 by this is a square plus p square into minus a into sin 0 minus p into this is cos 0. So we know that the sin 0, 0 value is 0 and this cos 0 value is 1. So this value is 0 and we have other values as e power infinity is 0 and again e power 0 is 1. So this upper limit value is 0. So what remains here? So f of x is equal to this is 2 by pi times of here it is minus e power 0 is 1 and again cos 0 value is 1. So this will be minus p by a square plus p square. So our value is f of x value is nothing but this is 2 into minus of minus plus p by pi times of this is a square plus p square. Now we have to get the value of f of x. So f of x value is nothing but 2p by pi times of this is a square plus p square. So this is how we have to solve and thank you for watching all this video. I am pretty sure that if you keep trying, you will conquer your mistakes and get good score in your examination. Please follow this channel and if you really like this video, please pass it on to your friends and thank you for staying all through my journey.